So let's get to the reading. So we do have the Knight of Wands, might be a fire sign. Um, it's Sagittarius energy, but can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And we do have your energy, the Moon. So somebody here might be in the shadows about a connection, about a person. We don't know exactly what's going on. We might be afraid that we are losing them. The nights are all about action and traveling and moving forward. Oh, they became cold. I know. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. We went from passion to ice cold. Um, Queen of Swords, she's quite brainy. She doesn't have time for nonsense. Um, a little bit disconnected, a little bit, well, experienced. So she knows. So they might, um, you know, at the King of Swords. Okay. So it feels like the energy of a Cold War. You know, okay, you're doing this perfect. I am going to do this other thing, right? Uh, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Maybe you have it in your chat too, but I feel that we went from passion to coldness towards polite communication, uh, official communication where other people are involved. Uh, legal affairs, we'll see. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. And when we have this, we know we need to stop shuffling. So it might be really a fire sign, right? Really a fire sign in your energy all over the place, Pisces. And uh, and they are cold. Let me tell you, they become they became cold out of nowhere. So um, and disconnected and not showing emotions. So we do have the three of cups. We do have the hermit, Virgo energy, and the sun. Definitely a reconciliation, a happy reconciliation, Pisces, by the way, because somebody knows better now. The Hermit is the energy of the soul journey, past lessons. This is the energy of, um, you know, um, giving it a lot of thought. Um, it's about shining a light on a situation, and this person has actually two light bulbs, right? One from within, one from what they want and, and the clarity of their emotions, and they want to be happy by reconciling with you here so this is the overall energy reconciliation we love this happiness reconciliation and wisdom so Pisces past energy is on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and we get three for the mutual that's all right it means a lot current energy is on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with in mutual. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely changes and the judgment, reconciliation and apologies, Page of Cups. This is also your energy. So I so love this. A lot of happiness. A lot of happiness coming from positive changes, second chances, a leap of faith. Apologies, emotions, you name it. I love this. Okay, so let's see past energies. Uh, Pisces, I believe it was a Sagittarius, but again, can be a Leo. Um, so hey, we do have the Temperance and the Queen of Cups. I mean, if you are dealing with a Leo, uh, why do I say Leo? With the, uh, with the Sagittarius, absolutely, they were all over your energy. You are all over theirs. Um, this is the energy of being connected. This is the energy of you being patient about this person. Always willing to make amends. Always willing to, um, you know, to compromise in order to have a peace of mind and, and a sense of happiness in this connection, right? I feel it took a lot of wisdom uh, for some of you and you were the one bringing that to the table, right? Um, and emotional stability. We do have you here as the Queen of Cups feeling very royal in this connection, right? Um, it's when we have our emotions fulfilled, our heart, um, our mind. And when it comes to this connection, I do feel that it brought you a sense of peace, um, Pisces. And um, also maturity, emotional maturity and your willingness to make it work in terms of emotion. So, um beautiful energy and changes and positive changes at, at some point and I, I kind of feel well, well, we are going to see but you are already this is the overall energy and you are already in a good place in a good spot now this person of yours 
King of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Very, very conflicted. Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn energy. You do have Virgo here twice, some of you. You might be dealing actually with an Earth sign. Um, and it has the energy of internal struggles and conflict, personal struggles and conflict. Um, some of you might be dealing with a person who had uh, financial struggles of some sort. Uh, they are fighting, actually, to make a buck. Right, and it uh, has the energy of effort, it has the energy of competition. They might be working in a field where competition is um, actually very aggressive, and um, and it has the energies, right, of, of um, those kind of struggles, but still being to, wanting to be the provider, wanting to be more stable, and doing something uh, to in that regard or to that respect, right. Now, mutual energies between you and your person in the past, Pisces, Three of Pentacles, both very serious about this partnership, Two of Cups, Body, Mind and Soul Connection, Soulmate Connection and Love, and the Ten of Pentacles, a sense of house, a sense of home, a sense of legacy, a sense of kids, of family, stability, roots, you name it, right? Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate, kind of like the Hierophant, but on a more everyday kind of level it's more than commitment it's really making the effort and it's really putting buck on buck right dollar on dollar um to create something that um gave stability to both of you again one struggling one being at peace uh but both uh royal energy the queen and the king right so evolved mature knowing uh, what you want to them they they knew what they wanted um and the energy between the two of you simply amazing so where are we right now? We do have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Together is the Ten of Swords. So very stressed um, and probably expecting communication, very stressed by the lack of. Um, kind of like the universe also saying for some of you, because you stress too much, you don't see the vision and the new ideas in it and uh, what you need to see. But I mainly feel communication might be an issue that is a stress about, um, you know, ideas shared that is a... A lot of mind energy um, that comes from actually imagination and um, and anxiety, right? That's a nine of swords. Um, a lot of mind energy that is um, self-created, self-imposed, and keeping you away from a sense of vision, from a sense of I know what I want from the future, from this person, from yourself, ace of swords, right? Having ideas, productive ideas about how to move forward in this connection a little bit blocked and seeing obstacles, right? Um, and again, with the Nine of Swords, we know it's created by our own mind. Doesn't mean the situation is that um, con confiding, no, confining, sorry, confining, um, right? It's uh, limiting you in some way. And a lot of swords, these are not your energies, right? In the past, you are more um, mainly at ease with yourself and your energies flowing, with your energies flowing, with your intuition, with your patience. And now we switched into some brainy kind of energy trying to understand something, right? That maybe that is nothing to be understood there, right? Just um, allow it and enable it to flow through us. Um, Pisces, this person of yours, they do have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Six of Wands. It has an energy right now of victory and success and fighting for it. Um, Six of Wands is, go is going to battle and winning it. Um, and it's combined with the Chariot. Again, the energy of breaking free, the energies of moving, of action, of success. So they're very focused on, on success right now. Wands, we know it's about uh, a career and passion. So I kind of feel that is uh, that is something there because we started with a lot of insecurities when it came to stability and money and now we have them fighting in full uh, mode, right? And one thing to be victorious about. So mutual energies between the two of you or what you have in common with this person, Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups, right? Confused. Should I move on? Should I move on? Should I stay? Should I wait? Are they going to come back? Are they going to choose me? Do they have options? You know, so both of you, you ask yourself, uh, yourselves a lot of questions about this. And even the idea, should I move away? Eight of Cups, is there something, something else for me, right? Eight of Cups, we know it's the destiny calling. It's having all the cups filled, the eight cups, and still wondering and longing. And 
and feeling that there might be something uh, out there for us, uh, something different, right? Um, and I uh, feel you question yourself and they question themselves, but for two complete different reasons. One is very focused on success, comes from a place of pride, a place of I have to succeed, my name is on it, my um, reputation is on it, and on your side you are more stressing to, um, to find the clarity at this time. Now, what's coming your way? Magic justice. We love this. We have the magician and the justice, Libra energy. But this is manifestation, visualizations, decisions, karma, destiny, and justice. Magic justice. Pisces, oh my god. That's the, the most beautiful combination of energies and of major arcana, right? It's about the destiny. Um, you know, it's about the universe bringing balance into your life. And asking you politely with a magician, you know, time to manifest, time to look at your tools, time to be confident again, because I say so, right? The hand of justice. This is what you need to do. That's a justice. You know, I simply love this. Libra energy. Um, so justice, fairness and magic. Now this person of yours, four of wands and six of swords. This is the energy of peace of mind and the energy of family and foundations. Um, they might be, it has an energy of sacrificing for work. It has an energy of sacrificing a foundation, a connection, a sense of home for some type of work, some type of victory. They might be actually very work oriented, might be a Taurus here. Um, um, yeah. It has a sense of, I need to um, be victorious in order for me to be at peace, right? So they are fighting, they are fighting a, a battle of their own. And um, yeah, Six of Swords, Peace of Mind, Four of Wands, Family and Roots. And the mutual energies between the two of you, Knight of Cups and Seven of Swords, both of you hiding the love for each other. Oh, how come? Because we do have here happiness and reunion. We have judgment. We have call. So some of you should expect actually a call, a situation to change and expect like a, a call. And combined with the wisdom is like they really prepared for this, right? They really thought a lot about it. And it's a, it's a meaningful communication every time we see the judgment with the, um, with the hermit. It's a lot of wisdom right there from, from an internal uh, journey and the realization and an, an awakening that the universe helped uh, put the person into. Um, so yeah, hiding emotions, both hiding emotions. Knight of Cups is my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card. And the Seven of Swords is, but I'm not going to tell you. I know, I know, kind of complicated. Uh, for two different reasons, right? For two different reasons, again. So, um, Pisces, let's, um, let's see what we need to do. Let's see what we are guided to do when it comes to this connection. Oh, again, compatibility. We need to look into, are we compatible with this person? This does sound like a sinistry chart, right? Are we on the same page astrologically? Are we on the same page uh, when it comes to uh, emotions and maturity we do have compatibility and we have emotional freedom um i feel pisces the universe is pointing you towards the future we do have inner peace compatibility and emotional freedom so if we were fully stressed and nine of swords ten of swords we are stressed and we might feel betrayed at this time at this time the universe is asking you to really pay attention if you are compatible with this person uh, break free emotionally from them and bring some inner peace to your world. This is what we need to focus on this time. And guess what? Luminosity, which is manifestation and um, and visualization and the law of attraction. Bottom of the deck, we do have slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. Uh, Pisces. Slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. Now let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. 
I'm going to put it with inner peace, inner peace and balance. This is all about you. We do have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I'm going to put it with compatibility. Um, Pisces, I feel that somebody might come from a place of a lot of pride. We have them in the six of this person of yours in the six of wands energy, in the chariot energy, maybe because of pride walking away and um, making impulsive moves uh, because of it, even walking away on an impulse, right? Because there's a lot of pride. So some of you are asked to look, to look into that compatibility when it comes to pride and how we manage impulsive uh, moves. We do have worry and we have the Nine of Swords in the current moment, Pisces on your side. So we need to release and surrender this. So I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, right? We have to overcome this. Some food for thought, how to. And it goes inner peace, balance and worry. We do have harmony. You are able to to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. And bottom of the deck, Pisces, surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Um, I'm going to look into general um, guidance, but you know what? Um, I... Yes, we have hidden feelings here. Uh, you have feelings for them. They have feelings for you. But at the end of the day, I feel that this is all about you, right? Awakening, luminosity, harmony, inner peace, emotional freedom, balance, right? And surrender the idea you can fix someone. You cannot really fix them unless they want to fix themselves, right? So let's go with some general guidance. I'm going to have three. And we have sacred self, Cancer. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the rhythm, to the sacred rhythm of life. Right? You are a divine being. That's a message here. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. We do have divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Right? You are a sacred self, so how about it? And of course, somebody is a goddess. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we do have goddess. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So sacred self, goddess, and divine alchemy. Are you kidding me? I am addressing probably the whole reading to some royal spirit, right? Some evolved spirit who just got a little bit off the offside um, for a second. Right? Goddess, Pisces. Express your divine feminine. Can be a divine masculine too, right? Energy. Embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So yeah, sacred self and justice. Magic justice. I, that is a message there for somebody where, um, you know, it feels like a spiritual kind of justice, universal justice, a sense of balance, a sense of karma. It has a big energy of you working with the universe actually um, and on yourself um, so hey Pisces this is all that I have for you guys you know I love you I wish you nothing but the best I want to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care